Hey, happy Friday. I hope you are enjoying, well, in my part of the, uh, the world, this, this nice weather today. And anybody who knows me knows that whenever it's nice, I like to come outside. Outside, So I'm outside today. And I want to say happy Friday. But, you know, I want to also tell you that last Friday we concluded our series um, of The Deeper Things. It was our final video. And moving forward, I'm just going to do videos. I'm not going to do a series for a while. It, it'll, I'll, I'll follow the Holy Spirit, but I'm just been given a, a word to share today. And so I want to share with you about the awakening. About the awakening. Um, you know, have you ever been asleep and someone, you know, comes in and they shake you to to wake you up and you we have different responses, right? We have different responses based on our sleep pattern, how long we've been asleep. Um, we have different responses based on who it is and who's 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 actually waking us up out of our sleep. We have different responses. But the one thing is for sure, when someone shakes you to wake you up, you're either gonna wake up sometimes with fear, it'll startle you, or depending on who it is, it may overwhelm you. Uh, it, uh, you may respect that person, you may have love in your eyes for that person, or you, you may have like, you know, I'm not ready, mentally I'm not ready to get up because life is just not, you know, treating me properly. So. But it all depends on what's going on with you and who's doing the awakening. So, but I wanna tell you that there's an awakening that comes for us when God gives us revelation. It's kinda of like we're walking in a sleep and we're just, you know, going about our merry way and then something bursts or burst through your spirit or comes through your thought or your heart and your mind. And it's like revelation, it's like a light bulb has come on and you've been awakened and you see things clear or you understand something that God is either showing you who you are or showing you what he wants you to do. Or maybe he's showing you something you need to change, but it's an awakening at that moment. You are being um, aroused because awakening means to rouse from sleep. It means to rouse from inactivity or indifference. To be awakened means I rise from, you know, uh, not doing something to doing something or I rise from um, not caring about something to caring about something. But it's an awakening. It's a revelation. It's something that you had not understood or conceived before that moment that God revealed it to you. So, you know, but I want you to understand something that the awakening or the revelation that God gives us sometimes can be formidable. It can be larger than we could have ever understood. We can if we can feel like it's much bigger than us, right? That um, it's not something that we can do on our own or we're gonna struggle with it. So I just wanted to say that because I wanna to talk to you today about the awakening. And I wanna to talk to you about some people that went through the awakening so we can get an understanding. I wanna to talk to you first about Mary and Joseph. Mary and Joseph, we know were the parents, the birth parents of Jesus um, in the earth. And how Jesus was conceived it was an awakening, you know, the Holy Spirit and the angel of the Lord went to Mary and Joseph and said, you know, there's going to be a child and it's going to be conceived by the Holy Ghost. And, you know, Joseph wanted to put Mary away because, you know, he hadn't, you know, had uh, slept with her. And he's like, you know, I, I got to let this, this woman go. But it was an awakening. It was bigger than them. And, and so, but once they filtered their flesh, because we have to filter our flesh in the awakening. We have to go through, you know, the layers of our flesh for a minute. Um, they said, not my will, but your will be done. All right? Because that's how Jesus came on the scene and that's how they are written in the book of life as his parents. Let's talk about Sarah and Abraham. Sarah and Abraham, who have been waiting on the son forever, but were told in late years, well past their point of conception, over 80, you know, they were told that they would conceive the son. And Sarah laughed because in her mind, that revelation was bigger than her. It was bigger than what her body was physically supposed to be capable of doing and what Abraham's body was physically supposed to be capable of doing. So, you know, it was formidable for them. It was larger than life, right? But they said, not my will. Your will be done. Because they did what they need to do once they filtered through their flesh to be who and do what God revealed to them that he wanted to do and be with them. 
Let's talk about some current people, Michelle and Barack. I don't think we want to understand it. I'm pretty sure that was at some point revelation for them to understand that, that he was to be president and she was to be first lady. And when that revelation probably first hit, I'm pretty sure it was like an awakening. It was an, it was an arousing. They were shook and they had to filter through their flesh as much as we want to look at them and think that they just walked into this thing like, yes, yes, yes. Let's be honest. You know, we know that they are two people who publicly admit that they are people of faith. So at some point they had to say, God, not my will, your will be done because God had revealed you're going to be the first black, <laughs> you know, president and first lady in the, this, this here United States of America. So then let's think about uh, Katanji Jackson and her family. You know, her whole family. She is the first black Supreme Court justice, female. Right. But at some point she had to get that revelation, that awakening. Right. And at that point, I'm pretty sure she had to filter through her flesh. It was big. It was formidable. It was bigger than her. I'm pretty sure her husband and her children who had to sit there through her interviews felt the same way. That revelation came and it was like, oh, my God, this is bigger than us. Something greater than us is moving this force through, moving this through. But at some point, that family to show up the way they did throughout her hearings had to say, not my will, your will be done. So I wanted to say that to you. And let's look at us today, just us, everyday people. God will reveal to you who you are in him, how much he loves you. He will reveal to you an assignment or something he wants you to do. And it is awakening because you're, you're not looking for it. And it just, all of a sudden, it bursts through your spirit, bursts through your thoughts, bursts through your heart. And you know that it's God. And you're like, oh my God, this is bigger than me. I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's it's formidable. And and, and God is saying, no, this is who you are. This is what I, I want you to do. But what I want you to understand is just like all the folks I talked about, foundationally, they had everything they needed to be, you know, who God was calling them to be. You have everything you need to be who God is calling you to be or whatever God is asking you to do. We get awakenings and revelations throughout our lives about the moves that God wants us to make. And, but I want you to understand it's okay if your first response is like most, like human. It's a, it's a human response. Moses had a human response. You know, I can't speak. You know, what you said in me, Jesus had a human response. If this cup should pass, it was, you know, you get the awakening of what is really about to happen, the revelation. So I wanted to stop by and tell you that today. If God has given you an awakening and a revelation of who you are and what he wants you to do, maybe it's to start a new business, maybe it's to get married, maybe it's to uh, let go of your children and let them go to college, I don't know, whatever it is. Once you get through filtering it through your flesh, be like all the folks I talked about. Be like Mary and Joseph, Sarah and Abraham, Baraka Michelle, Katanji Jackson, and say, not my will, your will be done. Because whatever the awakening is revealing to you, it is not just for you, it's for the world. Much love, Keita. <laughs>